That was her name. And she's very beautiful. She seems to be happy with Harry in her marriage. Um, she's already winning. It's like, just take the win and walk away. Because shows like this can't do anything but fully destroy relationships. And I think a lot of the women that come on the show, their relationships are already weak. And I saw that with Camille. So the women go on the show thinking that it's going to do something for their career and they'll have their own voice. And, and maybe it does do that. But the men that are behind the scenes often have a motive in wanting them to be busy and be away. They're doing something else. There's something else going on. And I, I did see this with Kelsey because he had that whole other affair that was culminating yeah. at that time. And he wanted Camille out of the way and distracted. So I ask people who watch the show to close your eyes and listen to the words and sort of feel what you are picking up on when you're hearing them talk to each other as husband and wife with Kyle and Maurizio. I watched them tonight and it was kind of difficult, but it was interesting because Kyle, if she was playing a chess game, she played it in a very uh, sleek way because she told her mother-in-law about tattoos, sort of testing the waters, seeing what she would think about her son being tainted as if he had tattoos. Now, most of us could give a shit, you know, we don't care. But his mother is very obviously straight laced and that's like no, no for her. And it seemed like an opportunity for Kyle to deflect her mother-in-law's ire that she was focusing on Kyle getting the tattoos and say, well, guess what? Your son's not so great. He did the same thing. Why is it any different? So it just seemed interesting that when somebody comes for her and calls her out, she throws somebody else under the bus. So. Yeah, that's like a good point. So what I think cracks of reality are getting in there. I mean, do you think this is over between these two because i mean to me it seems over but what do i know okay here's the thing if they stayed together it would be for the money it's it's so that they don't have to separate it maybe they're stronger together because Maurizio, without the show his business will lose steam and he knows that we all know that if you're attached to a reality show, it's like a big infomercial. And Kyle knows if she loses Maurizio as part of her life and scenario, that she has no storylines. You think they'll stay beneficial. together? Um, you know, here's the thing. When I was doing, when I was pulling her energy and reading her at the dinner table, first of all, I didn't want to be bothered. I asked her to leave me alone. And she would not do that. She was very abrupt and rude and demanding, but whatever. And with the between the two of them trying to make money and build their empire, I think they feel like there's a it's a good um price to pay for maybe happiness. Mo Maurizio he gets his gratification in ways where he can control the situation. And I just know some of what's gone on behind the scenes over the last decade, you know, with him. So men like to be in control, which I thought it was interesting with Dorit. And I don't want to draw her aggravation to me. I'm just commenting on the episode, but the whole pretty woman scene and her and PK, PK kept using the word control, that she likes to control things, that she's controlling. And as somebody who's, you know, profiled criminals before, that kept standing out to me as though he might like somebody that he can control. And maybe that's not Dorit. So I I just found that really interesting. It's just an observation. Aww. 
what did you, what do you think of Jory and PK? Because they're now that pretty woman scene was a little cringeworthy to me personally. I think I don't think she would have actually cared about what he did for her if there wasn't a camera there and everybody else was seeing it. I think she wants everybody else to see how much he loves her, which is something Kyle did in the beginning where she'd set up scenarios to show and and almost exaggerate how much he loves her. And I always find with couples that are trying to hold it together, it's all about perception. It's how people see them. So I was a little worried about Dorit and PK in that moment because it seemed like a bit of overkill, like love overkill um, right. in what he was doing for her to make her feel special. I think most housewives who are in love with their husband and we, you know, even though we're doing dishes and laundry and the regular things that most housewives do, we feel lucky because we know we married that one person we want to have every breakfast, lunch, and dinner with. We want to spend every Christmas with them. They're the person that um, speaks to our soul. And we don't need the flashy nuances and displays of affection to feel loved. And I think, and having lived in Beverly Hills and having seen this, I think a lot of the people that go that are kind of over the top with love bombing, even though they're already married, tend to um, be doing it for other people's sake. So. Well, it's the same thing like on Instagram, the couples. I mean, there are people post yeah. all day about how happy they are. And yeah. I'm like, I call bullshit on all this. Right, right. Yeah. So I think a lot of your viewers are going to understand what I'm saying there in that if you're truly happy, you don't have to try so hard to convince everybody else. Or put anything on social media. I never put anything personal on social media ever. I just don't. I mean, every now and then I'm like a little bit, but not really. You know, for me, because Medium was based on the family and a love story, I do from time to time. But as you'll see, I don't saturate it with us. We just had our 30th anniversary. I put like a picture from dinner that we had up. Yeah, like stuff like that. It's like I put like where I'm yeah. having dinner. Yeah, or yeah. Whatever. There weren't walls of roses and violinists in the picture posing for the picture with lighting and, uh, you know, music set to the scene. And it, I could have fun and a good, I could have a good time with my husband in a paper sack with a can of beer. Like he's just, he's just that guy. He's funny. And so I don't really need to flash uh, jewels that are sort of reminiscent of the most famous and fabulous hooker of all time from Pretty Woman <laughs> to, to feel special. But I have to say her jewelry was amazing. It was eye popping. So it was amazing. It, it was, was amazing. Just gorgeous. Yes. Do you believe, because like they're all the headlines about them too now, that they're separated, they're having problems. They made a statement to People Magazine, we're fine, we're choosing to work on our marriage, we had a tough year. Like, do you get what vibes do you get from them? Do you think they really are now lying and putting out this statement or are they really okay? Because this is all out there now. There could be a little of both involved because when I was 